And hello everybody, welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, we had some pretty fun, well we had a lot of fun yesterday, but I want to thank everybody for coming out to the stream this morning. How's everybody's Sunday going so far? Hearing strange noises, that's not good. Uh, maybe you want to check outside and make sure there isn't anything strange going on. We're out here on Parquet Fernando and hopefully you guys can hear and see the quality. Also I noticed that the quality of the stream yesterday wasn't quite as good as it should have been. So I did some adjustments on that, and I'm hoping that that uh, fixed the problem. Hey, Zombie Slayer, dodge the uh, dodge the best. Why? Holy, Micaiah, Ben Gray, what's going on? Mason, Dennis Anderson, dodge the best. Yeah, that's who it was. Elliot Crater, Matthew Hosler, Spencer Coleman. Good to see you again, Spencer. And Dennis Anderson, what is going on? Great to see you again, Dennis. So we just got a call from a male puma right down here. Now I was actually going to go over for some access deer because I got a pretty good spot where there might be... Hey, thank you the Hunter Ian, I appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Um, we got a good spot for some access deer, we got a call from some red deer as well. But, since this Puma put out a call, I figured we should probably check it out. And there are some ducks around here as well, but let's see if we can't find this Puma. Oh, I don't see him. Oh, there he is. I don't know if that's actually him or if it's an axis deer. No, that is an axis deer. Okay, so here's the axis deer that uh, I saw from before. Got a three there. Another three there. I know there should be a puma here. But why I can't see it, I don't know that part. Hey Levi, what's going on man? Great to see you out here. So what I would at least like to do, oh it's still kind of dark out so I probably can't see the tracks. Oh man, you have stomach flu, that's not good. Uh, Levi, my day is going really well so far, thank you for asking. Okay, so there's definitely a four over here somewhere. Well you might end up holding off on the puma just because I can't actually see him right now. And let's start off by taking a shot at one of these axis deer. There's a 3 easy out there at about 190 out. So we have the Mosin on us right now. Hey Austin, great to see you again. And great to see another mod in the house as well. We're going to start off by taking a shot on probably this 3 here. And that put him right down. That worked out pretty nice. This Mosin actually has a pretty good amount of penetration. Guess they took off. All right, let's go over and go take a look and see what's going on. Yeah, I can see the quality looks so much better. You're right, the Hunter Ian. Thank you for uh, letting me know about that. And Brandon Gregory, my day's going excellent. Thank you for that. How's your day going? Hello, Cody Van Warmer. Great to see you again, Cody. And Matthew Armtrage, welcome back to the stream. Ben Gray, what should I get for Parquet Fernando? Uh, where the lodge? Oh, for the lodge. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Hello, Caleb. Got a 899 bull moose. Oh man, that's a really nice bull. Really close to a diamond. Nice job on that. And Elliot Cricker, I got my first diamond today. Congratulations. That is a very cool accomplishment. What'd you get, Elliot? Don't see that puma. The only reason I'm interested in that puma is because I have a good feeling it might possibly be a big mythical, which I wouldn't mind to have in our lodge. So it looks like these females are coming back. Is there another female there? Alright, so let's actually pick up this male here. I don't know what our consecutive harvest is like. We're at 100%. Not bad. Uh, 199 yard left lung liver stomach shot on him so pretty cool uh we're not gonna get him mounted just yet and hello hello to you guys there's also a good black buck spot over here as well hey flinter's here <laughs> someone's tripping out oh my god flinter's here oh yeah flinter actually is here hey flinter what's going on man um i don't know if you saw the stream difficulties we had yesterday but uh hopefully you didn't <laughs> anyways with the help of Zaggedy K, we got uh, quite a few things figured out here. So hopefully we're running a little more smooth now. 
but there's always something else you need to fix. Alright, I wouldn't mind taking a shot on this female, just because we need to thinning out this spot a little bit. I think we actually made a spinal cord shot on that one. Oh, you didn't? Okay, good. I'm glad you didn't, Flinter. You, uh, trust me, you didn't want to see it. <laughs> Someone was saying, oh yeah, I saw five streams from DD saying, uh, stream starting soon, but nothing ever happened. <laughs> so that's, uh, basically what I'm talking about. We did get the spinal cord and double lung on that. And it was another female. Hey Caleb, great to see another mod out here. Welcome to the stream. All right, so where is that black buck spot? It's actually over there, but we're a little bit early for that spot and a little bit early for this spot too. But that doesn't mean that that puma can't be over there. So we'll swing around this point here and see if we can't see him. Levi, I have two albino water buffaloes. Oh man, that's awesome. That's pretty lucky of you. Uh, I was talking to comic book guy the other day and he said that he's actually never seen an albino water buffalo or a rare to be uh, in general. So yeah, that's really, really awesome. Hello, ER plays. What's going on? The Rebels Gaming Network. Wait, so I'm kind of new and I don't know much about statistics. On the 243, is it best for deer or is it 270? I'm using the 270 Palmer tips right now. So for whitetail, the 270 Palmer tips works really good, but for blacktail, you have to use the 243. Um, and for what other kind of deer? Axis deer, uh, roe deer, and must deer. Well, no, must deer, you have to use the 223, but. Most of the smaller deer, you have to use the 243. Uh, the mule deer, you can use the 270. Well, you can actually use the 7mm on the mule deer as well, which is really nice. It works out so nice on the mule deer. I have yet to see a diamond teal, so if we happen to see one, I wouldn't mind taking a shot on one. Mr. Oasis, welcome back from France. Hello again. And Ben Gray, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. <laughs> and that's uh, another part of the adjustment that I've done that I've been uh, doing here. Oh, I think that's the big four. That is definitely the big four. Or am I taking a shot? Oh, since he was so close, I would have taken a shot with the bow. But do we have the right arrows? Yeah, we actually do. We actually do have the right arrows. And the puma is calling back. Interesting. Mosin is life, Mosin is love. That's right, Flinter. Although, the bow is right up there too. <laughs> I don't know if you saw last night's video that I made. I made a 110 yard shot with the uh, Hawk Edge bow. And like I said before, I am so glad that I started using this Hawk Edge because there's no way I would have been able to make that shot with the Bear Claw bow. I probably could have hit it, but there's no way it would have had enough penetration to get uh, a single lung, let alone double lung to be honest. All right, so if this access buck is around here, I won't mind trying to call him back in. I'm pretty sure that Puma might have scared him off a little bit, though. Oh, you did actually see it, Flinter. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, well, the reason I decided to take that shot was because the other day I took something very similar to that on a, a bedded water buffalo at... 97 yards out and I pretty much put the same um, well I guess hold over the top of it and what happened is I ended up getting a double lung or no 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 it wasn't double lung it was a straight single lung heart shot the uh, water buffalo didn't even move but I wasn't recording so I was so sad that nobody got to see it except for me and I didn't even take a screenshot of, of the shot so no one even could see what happened so I kind of wanted to try and replicate that again and uh, yeah well, anyways, thank you for uh, stopping out, Flinter. And yeah, good luck to get back to editing there. All right, so it looks like this uh, Puma actually came through here and scared away our Axis buck. Kind of looks like he came through here and circled around, but continue on a little bit more. 
See if we can't find him. Where did he go? Ooh. I don't know if that was the same one. But that's a heavy, heavy track. 151 minimum on the weight estimate on him. Hey, green soldier. Okay, so that actually was him. We have his rest zone right there. So if we do see him this time, we'll take out the Mosin. Yeah, the Puma scared him away. Look at that. I'm hoping that the Puma doesn't get him before we can. Phantom Gamer, welcome back to the stream and thank you so much for liking the stream. That's really awesome of you, I appreciate that. Man, this Puma is something else. Yeah, because that Axis Buck had no reason to take off. We had a, well, let's just say that the wind wasn't perfect, but still, it wasn't to the point where he should have spooked that fast. Maybe he should have put out a warning call or something, but he bolted. And then we heard a Puma, so that means the Puma probably scared him. Well, if we see this Puma, we might take a shot on her as well. Just because she is causing us all kinds of chaos right now. Hey, Space Marlin. Ho! Oh! Why is the Puma running from, from the Axis Deer? It's supposed to be the other way around. Okay, then. Alright, let's try and catch back up to this guy. Got his track right here. <laughs> yeah, he came out of nowhere. Or she, I should call her a she because it was a female. But I really don't know why she came running at us when her meal was running this way. So I think she got a little confused there. All right, well, I tell you what, we might end up coming back for this guy in a little bit because I don't really want to spend too much time on him unless I can see him right now. No, can't see him. Hey, G-Man, what's going on? Yep, yeah, so let's actually head over to... Oh. This is where I saw a really good four black buck. So if we go down here and see him, I wouldn't mind taking a shot on him. Considering the fact that this access buck decided to skirt us out on the edge here. We got his need zone here from zero until 4.30 though. So yeah, right about here. Got tracks here. I think this could be from... That's Red Deer. The heck is a Red Deer doing over here? Hey, no problem, G-Man. Aiden W, what's going on? Thank you. And MJWT Outdoors, welcome back to the channel. I just heard something, but I don't really know what that noise was. Okay, so this should be... Oh! And that's the female Puma that messed everything up for us. And of course, she ran right behind a rock. What's this track here? Yeah, we have red deer. I'm very curious where these red deer all came from. Just a little bit dark out here still. This fog. <laughs> I 
Hey, Holst Outdoors, what's going on, man? All right, we're going to go to a new spot here. It's a little bit too dark out, and I can't see very good, so we're going to fast travel and change the time to where it's a little bit lighter out. Because I can't see anything right now. There we go. That should help out. There should be a really nice muley over here as well. Oh, got a red deer out there. Hey, Maxi boy, what's going on, man? Uh, Levi Kosman, welcome. Uh, thank you for asking about the construction work. Construction work is going really good, and that is a really nice puma, which we might have to track down. Also, a couple of really good uh, muleys here. So we'll see if we can't locate them. And is that the? That's a good four there. All right, so we might go for this big four. Yeah, let's do that. We'll go for this big four axis buck out here, trotting out there. Unless we happen to see the rare. There's also what could be a four rare axis buck out here on top of it. But for the time being. I know right where they're going to go. So we'll head on over here a little bit closer. Just chilling. Nice. Officer Taylor, I've been doing really good. Thank you for asking. How you been? Mason D hunting and fishing vlog. Call the wild is the best. At this point, yeah, I think you're right. The Rebels Gaming Network, our Trophy Lodges DLC. Yes, they are. It is $3.99 for uh, DLC. All right, let's find that for. He doesn't seem to want to go back to his spot. Unless he's going to find a new spot. Hold up. Oh, there he is. There he is out there at about 215. So we'll be zeroed in for 300 and I did not try and hit the reload button. But it looks like it actually worked out good because they slowed up. There he is there. Come on. Slow up a little bit. Not gonna take a 250 yard walking behind a tree shot. I think that was a miss. But it could have been a hit. I really don't know. Could have been a hit. We'll have to go over and go find out. It had a chance, depending on how far it was, actually. <laughs> That was a hit. Uh, 233, we're going for heart, but I thought we might have been a little bit too low. And that's because we reserved him for 300, but I think we made a good hit because he's down. Let's go get him. Hey, Richard Coy, welcome back to the channel. He says, look like a good hit to me. You're right, it did look like a good hit. And the only reason it was a good hit because we were zeroed in for 320. Had we been zeroed in for 160, it would have been a good miss. <laughs> but yeah. Got some thunder going on here now. Bunch of tracks from some muleys. I honestly don't know where these muleys have been. Hopefully a good hit too. That's right, Alex. Yeah, I mean, we tried for a good hit. It's not like I was trying to miss it, but... If it would have been a good hit, it would have got him. And if it would have been a, a miss, then it would have been fine too. So basically, it worked out good. Mason D, thank you for asking. Hey, Jet Harrison, just got here. Welcome to the channel. And glad to have you out here, man. Gotta be careful. There's some water buffaloes over here, too. They are not too happy with me. I would like to find out where some of these muleys went, though. Normally, they're uh, down here drinking, but I haven't seen any lately. What's the best animal to start with uh, for your trophy lodge? Anything you want. Whatever you want. Just kind of have something in your mind and then go after it and see if you can find one. Hey, Kobe, Kobe 
was, or Kobe K was, uh, good spots for Mule Deer. Actually, I have a really good spot for Mule Deer. If we go the right direction first. Um, right over here. By... Where is it? Right here. This kind of L-shaped lake right here. There's a couple tents I set up. Right here is where you start off at Casita Marita. Just go a little bit to the right and down here. Oh! Holy! <sighs> uh, sorry if I can't complete your answer right now, but... We have a buffalo here that doesn't like me too much. Oh man. Intestine shot. That should have been lung hit. And reload would be nice. Cool looking buffalo. Not bad. Pick it up. Uh, brown color. That's kind of cool. I think that would look nice next to our albino, actually. Um, I think we'll save it for now. I don't know. I know it's only a brown. It's not a rare, but it is interesting. Let's use our med kit. <laughs> Last time we were watching Flinter stream, we were all spamming med kit, med kit, med kit. Next thing you know, there was like over a hundred different messages saying med kit, med kit, Flinter. Uh, that looked like a vital hit, so that means that this should be a gold a access buck. If we could find him. Ran off this direction here, and... Uh, Alright then. Water buffalo stuck right there. I don't want to get attacked, so if it minds its own business, I'm okay with him. Um, according to this... He ran a pretty good ways. I feel like he might have glitched out, or how did he go so far with a vital hit? Interesting. Hey, Space Marlin, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate that, man. Just ran right past this guy in accident. And we got another water buffalo coming past on the run out here. Is that a miss? Could have been a miss. I don't know. We'll check. All I know is it was close. It wasn't too far off. Uh, oh, intestine. Intestine. At 237 out. So we didn't lead him enough. Okay. Uh, I don't think we're going to get him mounted. No, we can get a bigger one. I know where there's some big, big access box. Just want to double check to make sure we miss that water buffalo. Oh, wait, I got three diamond moose today. Man, how do you do that? How's that even possible? I feel like that should have been a miss. More access to your here. Uh, yeah, Hunter Lamp, I probably am, but I'm just missing him. Sorry, I was getting attacked by a couple of water buffalo here. These are all water buffalo track or er, uh, access deer tracks. Water buffalo track there. It seems like that was a clean miss on that water buffalo. Is this his track here? Please don't come attack us. Just stay stuck right on that bush. I won't have any problems. Hello, Jonas. Oh, that's a good water buffalo there. Trotting. 2,420 minimum weight estimate on him we might swing by over there and see if we can't take a look although with the 7 millimeter, it's going to be interesting to see if we can actually get a gold out of that or even you know and I'm not even going to if we see a diamond I, there's no way I would try and get it with the 7 millimeter. I would somehow try and take it with the bow or actually no the bow isn't any good either I didn't think about that we would have to get double lung and spinal cord in order to drop it which, not saying it couldn't be possible, but it's not easy. What is that? Six hard. Wouldn't mind taking a shot on him. Uh, see if there's another one. Nope. 
It's so hard to hit that heart from this angle. It really is. It's only a six hard, but. Okay, yeah, so it looks like we're gonna go after these mule deer. They're way more important than the six hard water buffalo. We can still use a seven millimeter if we need to, or we could just use the Mosin. Man, why is it so hard to see? I feel like I can barely see. I mean, I know my vision's not the greatest lately, but man. Hunter, duck, 25, hawk edge or bear claw? Hawk edge, all day long. Yeah, I actually made a video about whether or not you should use the hawk edge. Oh! Just keep on running. Don't mind us. I think that might have been the six hard, actually. Yeah, he should be good. Just trying to get over here. Okay, then. Another water buffalo just came out of nowhere. Trying to find where these mule deer went off to. I hear another one coming. I don't think they're actually coming after us. I think they're just running around, to be honest. So yeah, I would definitely say the hawk edge. And anyways, what I was saying is the video I made about whether you should use the hawk edge or the bear claw is the reason I stopped using the hawk edge is not because of the bow's fault. It's because of the sight that I used with the bow. And we got a call from a female mule deer down here, but there's a buck. Not much of one, but it is a buck. Boy, is that a small buck. Hold up, I saw something else over here. Doe. Another buck. So we got a small buck. A couple does. I honestly don't know what this herd is here. I just kicked him up and I wanted to take a look at him. Pretty sure it's one that I got one of the biggest bucks already. Yeah, they're uh, not really any of my interest. Hey, Simon J. Hello to you as well. Is that a male? It is a male. I don't know why he was just standing here. I mean, I suppose we could take a shot at him on there. Oh, hold up. There's a bunch of them there. There is a pile of access deer. Right there. So if we can find... A big four. Or a three. Look at them all. Let's try for this. Missed it. We did hit him though. I don't know where all these axis deer came from. But they are everywhere. All right, so we're heading over to another uh, mule deer spot right now. Let's see, where are we at? We are at Bose Muerto. Right here is where I got a giant mule deer. It scored a total score of 936, or, or maybe it was 940. I think it was like 942. Honestly, I don't remember, but he was big. Yeah, just missed the brain. We're a little bit too low, it looks like. And there they all are. Look at them all. Let's actually take out another female, because there's too many of them here. Don't want to take out another male. But we will take out a female. Yeah, if I find big herds and there's mostly females, a lot of times I'll try and take down at least a couple of females to thin it out the herds a little bit. Seems to help. Not sure if it really does anything, but it seems to help. Double lung shot. 
Hey, Ben Nader, first time here. This game looks cool. Well, first off, welcome to the channel, and this game is pretty cool. So right over there is where he hangs out. Right over there. Can't see him from here, though. There we go. Got a red deer out there. One lone red deer, huh? I suppose we'll take a shot on him. 213 out. We have the 7mm, so we'll be zeroed in for 160. All just a touch high of the heart. See if we can make it happen. Yeah, we got it. And he's down. He might be a gold, but we're not going to get him mounted. I have a couple of mythicals located already, so we're going to hold off until we get one of them. But yeah, it looks like a nice red deer. Pretty nice one. Yeah, the cool part about this 7mm is it's uh, pretty ethical on a lot of animals on this map. I mean, you can go from mule deer, puma, water buffalo... Thought I saw something down there. Alex Hunt, do you have Xbox? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, no problem, Hunter Duck. Why do lions on your map never charge you? That's a good question. Uh, some people, they don't get charged by them, and some people, they do. I get charged all the time. I feel like they can just sense you. If you have any fear at all to an animal coming out af after you when you can't see it, I feel like then they keep charging you. But, wait. I thought a red deer was right here somewhere. Oh, that there he is, yep. Um, if you're not really scared of them, I feel like then they don't charge you. <laughs> it's interesting how that works. Alright, let's pick up this red deer. Uh, yes, that was a 7mm, the Hunter Ian. And a heart shot. He wasn't quite big enough to be a goal, but not a bad shot. 211 out. Now again, this is where the mule deer should be at, so we gotta be careful here. If they're out, is it too early? 9.30, oh, it's a little bit too early, but it doesn't mean they couldn't be wandering around somewhere else. They're probably bedded down at this point. All right, Levi, take it easy. Thank you so much for stopping out here. But if there's no mule deer, the puma should be around as well. I really need a eight mythical puma for the lodge. We're over here now. This area here is where I got two diamond pumas. So we're gonna head over to that direction. By the time we get to this spot, the mule deer should all be around there and the puma should be there as well. I always see big mythicals over there, uh, big mythical pumas, so I'm hoping that maybe we could find, well, I mean, there should be a diamond out there too, because like I said, I've gotten two diamonds over there, both pumas, technically I should have had three, <laughs> when one of them, I lost all of the consecutive harvests randomly, and it ended up being a silver, believe it or not, or I think it was a gold still. Yeah, because if they're if they're big if they're uh, gonna be a big diamond, they're still gonna be a gold no matter what. Hey, you Luke, any diamonds? Um, not yet. Just uh, trying to get the the hang of the lands here. This black buck popped in the letter C. Oh, nice. How would I go about finding white tails? Um, there's a a really good uh really good strategy I have on a video saying the best spot for whitetails and I would probably check out that video and that should give you a pretty good idea on how to find some whitetails. Or at least how I find them. Oh, we are going the wrong direction, whoops. You go back this direction here. Actually, where is this pie ball that wobble clock? It is way too early to go here. So we'll go there after. 
Hey, welcome back, Flinter. How's the editing going? It's been a, a pretty good amount of time since I hunted this map, actually. I mean, I know where some animals in specific are, but other than those, I don't really know a good spot to go. Right now, we're heading over to a really good spot for some, some mule deer, and there could be a diamond puma over here as well. Oh, that's good news. All finished. Well, you probably don't really have to edit much. You just uh, do it all in one take. Maybe cut one or t once or twice, and that's about it. I want to go fast. I accidentally deleted my albino moose. Oh boy, how'd you do that? Um, if you delete it in the trophy lodge, there, there should be a way that you can actually get it back. It just, it basically removes it from the spot. It doesn't delete it completely. As far as what I know. I don't really know how you could actually delete it completely. But I'm sure there's a way. Let's see. Eh, 2.5 hours of footage. Just a lot of splicing and transitions. Oh yeah, true. Either way, you have to put the uh, splicing and transition in. Alright, so here is the mule deer spot, but the puma should be down here. So I think the key is you just gotta start fast traveling and changing the time to see more animals. But sometimes I just like to hunt and see what we see. There we go, it kicked up something over there. Is that more axis deer? Uh, it is. How many axis deer over here? Got some stag tracks here as well. There's something wrong with this picture. 147 watching, but 42 likes. Oh, holy. <laughs> 100. Man, I had no clue that that many people were watching. And uh, thank you for the update, Flinter. That's that's really awesome. There we go. Spotted a muley way out there. It is a three easy. Another muley there. Okay, so it looks like we found the mule deer spot. Don't see anything giant out there. And big hook fishing. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Boy, that thing's a long. Oh, here we go. Here we go. A six hard puma. 212 out there. Probably going to take a shot on him. Just wanted to make sure there isn't a giant uh, muley over there. I'm sure there could be. Okay, let's get a shot quick. Here we go. Here we go. Wrong weapon. 206 out about. Can't even see him, but that definitely should have been a good hit. And it was only six hard, so not really too worried. Got a doe there. Doe there and a doe there. All right, we'll go over there and check, up, check out them in a second. But for now, we're going to go over here and see if we can't find this other big puma. So we'll mark that spot there. Oh, that's actually a spot from 4.30 in the afternoon. Interesting. Hey, Jonathan. Yeah, Flinter, uh, yesterday's stream, we were actually streaming with only 2,000 bitrate because when I did some adjustments, somehow it automatically changed the bitrate. Okay, I definitely just saw something there. That's the right weapon? Yeah, it is. It's a tiny, tiny axis deer. 
Man, is that thing small. Got a decent track from an access buck here somewhere. So I would like to hold off for him at least. No. How long have we been, been uh, playing for? Well, so far today, uh, about 40 minutes. But Call of the Wild I've been playing for a little over two years. Hey Ben, how's the uh, the bird watching? Is that what it is? Bird watching, I think. Yeah, how's that going? There we go. Oh, that might be a monitor there. 140 out. Bad angle. So, oh, what's this one? Uh, it's only a three, but I think this one we might want here. It's a big four, a real nice four. Uh, somehow we got a shoulder blade hit, I think. I would have thought that we could have got a single lung, but... Looks like we messed that one up. Take a doe. Yeah, we've been taking plenty of does. I'll take another one here just to make sure. That's on a doe. There he is! That's our rare. That's the piebald, actually. Is that our rare? Or is that a different one? Where are we here? I believe this is a different rare. Yep, I've never seen this one before. So we will go for him. 229 out. That shot looked really good, and he's down, right there. So apparently it was a really good shot. Is that another big four? No. So it looks like we kind of botched the shot on the big four and ended up getting something even cooler. I don't even know if that big four was actually the biggest one. If this is him, then he's not even big enough to get mounted. I mean, yeah, he's going to be a nice gold, but... For an access buck, I want to get like a huge gold. That's where we hit the four flesh wound. We'll be able to find out by this track here. Yep, he's not even that big, so I'm not really too sad that we messed up that shot. The big ones have a minimum weight of 150 on them. Hello, Hornet Gaming 365. What's going on, man? Okay, this is also the spot for the Puma. This is Puma Paradise right here. So, we need to watch. Closely. Alright, so let's pick up this four quick and then we'll go over and get the rare. I mean, he might have been a little bit further, either that or he was turning when we took the shot. I'm honestly not sure how we didn't get at least a single lung out of that. But. Like I said, I'm not really too concerned because it was only like a medium sized four. There he is down there. Huh. Ran a pretty good ways actually. And there's some more access deer there. Don't want to lose our rare though, but I think he's like right. Okay, there he is. Alright. Not that it matters. I mean, I don't think he was big enough to be a gold that rare but just to keep our consecutive harvest we're gonna pick up this four then we'll swing back over hey jacob monday welcome to the channel and welcome to the your first stream i guess shoulder blade oh man he did turn uh what's the weight on him 139 yeah he wasn't big enough Decent access buck, a real decent one, not like he's small at all. He's a good gold, but he's not what I would call a true mounter. 
All right, so let's go get this rare because this is definitely a rare, uh, a true mounter. Of course, it's a rare. Smithy and Tink Gaming. Hey, do all the animals have rares? Uh, yeah, they do actually. Yep, they sure do. But they're pretty rare, so you might not see some of them. A couple days ago, I got my first rare water buffalo, the first rare that I've ever seen. So, they're out there. Hey, Zaggity. We got a rare down. Pretty sure he actually dropped. Yeah, he did drop in a very cool position on top of it. So it looks like we might get a good picture of him as well. That's one of the rares, but this is actually a different rare. I've never seen this guy before. That should be good there. And let's pick him up. It looks like he was a silver, but he was a piebald and we actually made a double lung heart shot at 229. So, pretty cool. A nice piebald rare access buck. Total score of 774 on him. Very cool. Yes, I am definitely looking forward to getting him mounted and putting him in the lodge. 2,620 cash. So, the funny thing is we actually came over here to find some puma and some big mule deer, but we didn't find... <laughs> Any Puma or Big Mule deer, but we did find a cool rare and a pretty good size Axis Buck. Oh, good question. Colton Schaefer, would you mount a 146 pound Axis Buck? Yes, I would, because that's going to be about a 915 score, which those are the ones that you want. Anything close to 150 pounds or bigger are ones that you want. Not saying you can't mount one that's going to be like 130 pounds. But that's just my preference, because I've actually gotten a couple of uh, 130 pounders before. I honestly don't think that my map has any diamond ducks on it at all. Nope. No diamond teals for me. Alright, so at this point, we need to get all the way back over here. And get... Oh, well, it looks like we did get that Puma. Okay. So the Puma's down. We need to go over there and go pick him up. I wonder if this is from the big Puma. Let's check. Uh, it is a Puma, but it's a female. Where the heck is she? Oh, I thought that was her. Man, that's awesome. A white looking puma. It's a gray one, but oh, I really want that in the lodge. A gray puma. And it's a female. She's about 215 out there. So let's get ready and take a shot here really quick. Don't want her to disappear. Oh, never mind. We can take our time. She's bedded. Don't want to rush this shot. Definitely don't want to rush this shot. Plus, she's bedded out there at about 150. Not like it really matters how good we hit her, but... Oh, there we go. Colton Schaefer. I mounted a 160 or 146 pound access deer scored 917. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. It would be around 900 plus. So let's get on this gray looking Puma here and see if we can't take a shot. Very cool. Yes, we have a rest zone located. Let's take a shot. And she is down. I believe we made a heart shot. At about 215 out. So not bad at all. And X928 Gaming, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Another Puma right here. I don't know what it is, but I don't really want to spend too much time to spot it. Because we can just see that one right now and run right to it. And we know where the uh, gray Puma is. So, sorry if I'm not paying attention to the chat right now, but I do not want to lose either one of these Pumas. I'm trying to focus on... I really wish there was a way that you could actually mark where the animals go down. You know, like put a dot where they're at with the binoculars. Because you can use the map and use it, but... 
it's not as precise. Like, look, I mean, this thing could be gone. I can't even see it right now, but I know right where he was, and I'm looking in the same direction that he was at. And I think this should be him. So yeah, again, sorry if I'm not paying attention to the chat right now, but I don't even know what this is. It was a female, dark red, left lung, and right lung. Double lung shot. Ah, uh, cool, but it's only a female, and she's not a rare, so we'll just accept it. And now, let's go over here and pick up Flinter God. Flinter is the best. Don't think anyone can argue with that. Yeah, he is definitely up there, but wow, that's a very cool looking gray puma. Not bad at all. Very cool. And she's in a really cool position, too. Yes, let's get it mounted. First, let's pick it up. It was a gray, and we did make a... Uh, did we make double lung? Wow, I don't know how we got double lung, but somehow we got double lung and heart on that puma right there. A gray at 209 yards out. I want to take a screenshot of this, actually, because I do not have a gray one laying down like this, so that's really awesome. Take one more really quick. Look at how cool the claws look on this puma. Man, that thing's awesome. Thank you, Richard Coy. I appreciate that. And yeah, let's get it taxidermized. 5,640 cash. So I believe we have two mounters. We have, so far we have the rare axis and the, well, it's not super rare, but it's definitely not common. A uncommon Puma. Let's just call it a gray Puma. That's an access track there, or a black buck track. Oh, a good black buck track. Not a diamond, but it's a really good track. So we'll track this down and see if it heads us over to the other Puma that we end up getting the six heart on top of it. Flinter backwards is rent lift. That's interesting. Hey, checkers. Good to see you again, by the way. So it looks like we kicked up this black buck here. But we should be able to catch a glimpse of them. No, maybe not. Okay. I really would have thought we would have seen him. Interesting. Hey, Remington the Hunter, really cool name by the way. His or Miss. Hey, Peyton Sky, congratulations on your diamond elk. Man, that was awesome. I remember hearing all about it yesterday's stream. What would that thing end up scoring anyways? So we got tracks here. This could be from another... Uh... Medium, really. Not that big. Colton Schaefer, I've got an albino... And a piebald access deer in my lodge so far for rares. Very cool. Awesome rares. And I bet that lodge is looking pretty cool. Back <laughs> checkers. Backwards is KD K Digga Z. K Digga Z. That's kind of funny. Bunch of track. Oh! Kicked up some muleys. I didn't see any big bucks, though. So. Oh, we're actually back to the spot where the uh, mule deer rest zone is. We'll take a look here and see if we can't see anything out in the front. Don't think so. I think they're all just young ones. Couple of bucks there, but not anything special. I would take a shot on one though if I could get a decent angle. Alright, so let's uh, find this puma here really quick. Oh, there he is right there. Well then, guess we don't have to look too hard for him. 
Like I'm saying before, this should be a gold. It might be actually. It is a gold. But we're not going to get him mounted. A very nice shot though. We couldn't even see him. He was right behind the brush. We took the shot with the 7mm 226. Yeah, he has a gold, but we're going to hold off on him for now. Thank you, Ray. I appreciate that. That was a very nice shot, actually. More. Oh, is that the black buck? It is the black buck. So, is there a black buck spot over here? No. There must be, because... Getting a call from one. Man, I'm so excited to see that gray puma. So excited. Can't see this black buck though. We'll just head over there and see if we can't find a heavy track. One of them's, yeah, it is the big male. Some more mule deer tracks. Just wanna see what time it is here. Ten o'clock, so yeah, we're actually pretty good to go over to a new spot. Look at all these tracks. Is this a whole different herd of mule deer? It's gotta be. Tracks everywhere. That buck that just took off there looked decent. I feel like this has to be a whole new herd. That's not very big. That thing's hauling there. Trying to get a look at these. See what they are. Could be a rare. Black buck. Okay, so one of these is the black buck. Which he might be big enough to get a, to uh, get mounted. Hey, Jerry. Welcome back to the channel. It literally looks like they're running right back to where we came from. So if they cut out here, maybe we could see them. No. Nope. That's alright. Not going that direction anyways. Oh, hold up. That can't be the black buck. It's a real nice stag, though. I mean, it could be the black buck, but he doesn't look very impressive. We'll take a shot on the stag. Try for a heart shot, but... Looks like we got shoulder blade. Oh. Did we get another one into him? No, we didn't. Got shipped a little bit there. Oh, Peyton Sky got a 189 scoring whitetail. Oh, that's so close to a diamond, man. Congratulations on that. Too bad he wasn't a diamond, still monster. Monster whitetail. You know what, let's take a shot at this black buck over here. Hold on, I got a glitch. Okay, there we go. And thank you for the super chat, Peyton. So, didn't you just get a diamond elk? Now you have a 189 scoring whitetail, which was so close to a diamond also. I am really hoping that that red deer is gonna go down. Because if not, Hey, shut up and fish is here. Welcome back, man. So good to see you. More mule deer down here, huh? Alright, let's swing by, pick up this black buck. That we kind of messed up a little bit, but that's alright. 
How do you get the 470? You have to get the DLC, I believe. I haven't used that thing in a while, so I don't remember. Uh, flesh hit. Yeah, pulled off a little bit too far low there. Wasn't that big. It was super small. I don't know why he weighed so much. Let's see if we can't find that stag. It's a real good spot here. For Muley, Puma, and Stag. That's where we hit him. That is, I believe, Puma Tracks. Or Blackbot. Oh no, that's the Stag. Uh oh. Very low. So, we hit him, he ran back that way, then he circled back. That's what it looks like. Okay. Guess he circled back. Then he ran down here. Hey, Chris, just got your first bison. Congratulations on that. Uh, well, we got to 0% somehow, so maybe this stag's gonna go down. Like I said, I think we got shoulder blade on him. It wasn't that bad of a shot. We're going for a heart, but... Looks like we didn't get the penetration. Or is he not going to go down? Put another one in him if we can. Whatever I pulled up first was the Mosin, so hopefully that helps bring him down. Also, hopefully that was the same one. <laughs> no, I think it was the same one. Hello, Zachary McCormick. How you been doing? Elliot Cracker, favorite animals to hunt. Go. Uh, white tail, red deer, and mule deer. Man, Trevor Marion just got a thousand scoring blacktail. Oh, that's gonna look so sweet in your lodge. Hopefully you have a lodge. I think we actually might have missed him again. Boy, is this guy smart. He's at zero percent, so he will go down. Not on his own, but if we don't find him, we're going to risk losing all of our consecutive harvests, which I really don't want to have happen, but looks like his tracks just disappeared, so that might happen. Thought he ran this way, though. He might actually be going right back to his uh, his zone. Found him. We found him. Thankfully. What is he doing? Did he go down? Well, this is gonna be a tough shot. Nice, he's down. I'm, I'm wondering if he actually went right back to his zone. I'm pretty sure he did. Oh no, we hit him over here. He ran to a new zone. That's what he did. And he bet it down. I am so glad we found him though. I would have been so not happy if we didn't find him. Hey, the 100 DD biggest fan. Welcome back to the stream. Uh, you just missed, we hit a shoulder bladed red deer. We ended up finding him and putting him down. So that's good.
And comic book guy, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Oh, how do we hit to left back leg? Cool looking stick. 177 would have been a gold, but we have something a little bit more impressive in mind for our latch. Only thing is, if I see him, there's no way I'm taking him with a gun. All right, let's swing by. Okay, so here's kind of what happened. We started off over here, and we got the Axis Deer here, we got a Rare here, got a Grey Puma here. Somehow we circled back. Now we're gonna go to this lake here and kind of end up over here. What is this? Mule Deer, Red Deer, and Puma. Perfect, perfect. That's what we want. Go get a gold. We'll find one. Cole Mecham, will they add turkeys? You know, I'm thinking that the next thing they add is hopefully gonna be turkeys. Just because there's so many requests on it lately. And there's been a lot of requests on tree stands and whatnot too, but now we are getting tree stands. So the fact that that happened, I feel like Turkey should be next. I, I'm, in my personal opinion, I think that they would bring out turkeys before, say, like a new map. I mean, if they do bring out a new map, they better put turkeys in it. <laughs> but there's really no way to know for sure. Biggie Cheese, I was level 58 and lost it all. Oh man, how'd you do that? Got some tracks here. Probably from a puma. Or a mule deer. Man, I was right. It's a puma. Tracks from a puma right here. Okay. But what's this track? Another puma, so it looks like we have dual pumas here. Just want to remove this waypoint. I don't know why he ran off that way. Let's go over here by this pond, see if we can't get some far shots. What did comics say? We need both. Any more animals on Layton? <laughs> will be overcrowded, uh, especially my map with the amount of moose that I have is just unbelievable. Yeah, I think it actually made my brain hurt seeing so many moose yesterday. No, that's all right. If anyone curses like that, it probably isn't gonna show up in the chat. So the Puma spots over here. Oh, there we go. A real good muley. It's a three. Another three there. And another three. Interesting. There could be more, but I can't really see. Oh, that's a real good three. Man, there are so many threes here. I feel like this is the biggest three that we can see. Should be a gold. We already do have a gold muley, so might as well take a shot on them. And let's use the seven millimeter, right? About 300, how far is that, 300? I oh, don't know, that's only 180 out there. All right, yeah, we'll use the seven millimeter. And Mr. Burns, just subscribe, welcome to the channel. Also, Super Spy Tex, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Let's take a shot. 
Oh man, I messed that up. It was a miss. Oh, I tried for a heart shot. Complete miss. Right below him. Might have been a flash hit. But the good thing is, now we can actually see if there wasn't anything bigger out here. It's possible we hit it, but I think it's a miss. Which is okay. I'm okay with that. Still there. They should come back. That was a big whoops. Oh, there we go. Good thing. Got a single lung on him. That was a big four. All right, I think. Oh, it's 217 out. I think single lung with the seven millimeter will take him down 100%. Not sure, but. I had a feeling there would be another big one over there. Another nice buck there. Can barely see him though. I would definitely like to take a shot on him if I could see him, but I can't see him. Nope, can't see anymore. We'll have to go over there and go claim that one. Super Spy Tex hit a 300 with a 7mm on a Gemsbuck. Ooh, very nice shot. Hey, Brody, wait. <laughs> That's funny. The first shot we completely missed. And then we got a single lung hit on that other pretty good buck. Definitely a four. So we'll mark this spot. Do we even have this spot? Mule deer 21. We do. Vital hit. And there he is down there. Uh, I'm going to say we're going to get maybe 100% actually. Yeah, he ran probably like 50 yards. A real good buck. 377, 100%. Shoulder blade, single lung. He is a blonde. 843. Oh, he's tough to pass up. I think we definitely have to save him for now. You know what? We need to get him mounted because he's blonde. Let's get him mounted. 4,200 cash. So we'll have two blondes. This one weighed 386. The one I got the other day actually weighed 399, I think it was, and it scored 422. Total score of... 843 here. Yeah, ooh, another good track there. 375 on the weight estimate on that one. So it's either a big three or another four. There they are. And there looks to be a decent buck. Just by the looks of it. Oh, that's a real decent buck. It's a three, it's a big three. Yeah, let's take a shot. Man, why wasn't that a hit? What is going on? I guarantee we're right through the dirt. Yeah. That 
That was a major rip. Oh, there he is. No, that's not him. That's an even bigger one. He is hit. Looks like he's hit. He is hit. Okay. Well, let's see if we can take a shot of this big four. Actually, no. Because we might actually lose this need zone. Let's finish off this three. I swear, that was another miss. What the, look at all the deer taken off though. There's something there. Oh, I think we somehow didn't hit it good again. I don't know. Might have been a clean miss. Sighted in for 163. How far was it, though? 250. That could be it. That definitely could be it. Shooting way too low. So thank you for letting me know about that. When you're zeroed in for the wrong distance, doesn't work out so good. So we gotta find our injured buck. Is there two fours? There is two fours. There's a one big four there and another four right there. But the one that we hit's at three. I'm wondering, yeah, we're probably too close to the need zone. Good four. I'm thinking maybe, let's check. Yeah, I think he went down. Hey, Silver Moon. Good to see you. Actually, probably went down. All right, just because we messed those other ones up, I really want to make up for it. I'm one of these bucks. This guy. There we go. And I'm kind of curious if the need zone's actually going to disappear. I don't think so, because I feel like this is the need zone here, about 300 yards away. So roughly like 400 yards away from the need zone. And this would be the third deer. I think you can actually get three animals down before the need zones actually start to disappear. I usually only shoot two because sometimes I get scared to shoot three and I don't want to lose the need zones. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you can get three. And this guy might be a mounter too. We'll see. 359 gold. He's a common color. But, I don't know. Liver, left lung, stomach shot. Uh, we'll save them for now. Because I think it might be cool to get a couple different fur variations. We only have some blondes mounted right now. So I think the common would make the blonde stand out really good. Red deer calling over there. Okay, so here's the track from the one that we hit from before. It looks like we actually did hit him again. Which is probably why he went... 75%, what the heck? Anyways, that's probably why he went down um, right after he took the second shot. Hey, Ben Gray, welcome back. Zero to 25%. What is this doe doing running right at us? Another track here. Level 60 is max. Welcome back, MJW Outdoors. I'm really hoping that we can find this mule deer down somewhere. Oh, here he is. Nice. Well, thank you. Glad we found him. What's going on, Shut Up and Fish? 345. Oh, 
You were right. We were zeroing for the wrong distance and we hit about a half inch too low. 176. Whew. Seems like we probably would have hit the heart. You know what? Seems like we should have hit the heart. We just didn't get the penetration to be honest. If you look closely. It's a gray too. But it wasn't a gold so I have to pass. Alright, let's head over to this location here. Hey, next gen, welcome back. Great to see you again. What'd you miss? Uh, we got a couple rare. Couple of nice muleys. Oh man, the country rap playlist has a gold pieball muley mounted. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Pretty awesome. Is that something over there? No, it's not. I have only actually seen one of those and I got it, but unfortunately it was right before the lodge. Remington the Hunter, welcome back. Great to see you again. That should have been an Axis deer. Which should be over here. I was like, that is definitely not an Axis deer, but they should be around here somewhere. Interesting. Where's the spot? Oh, it's back here. Too thick, I can't see. Can't see anything. Hey Caleb, welcome back. Chase Belson, I just shot my biggest elk. It scored 301. Oh, that's an awesome bull. Congratulations, Chase. Actually, I think that's our, our biggest one we have mounted now is 300 score, so you got us beat. One muley. Looks like a gray colored as well. I was going to say, there's usually some red deer out here. Six hard there. And another six. Suppose we could take a shot on this stag if we don't see anything over here. More muleys. Oh, I thought that was a puma. It's another red deer. Medium buck. Normally there's some more muleys over here, but I'm not seeing you right now. Tell you what, let's go for a shot on one of these muleys. Maybe this guy here. About 300 out. Yeah, I would rather take a shot on that guy instead of a red deer. 275. Alright, let's try and not mess up this shot this time. How about that? I've actually made a double lung shot with the Mosin from this distance, so we should be able to easily do it with the 7mm. Is that a pieball? No. All right, here we go. Didn't get it. Single lung, but I would have thought we could have got hard at that distance. Oh, well, I got a single lung, I guess.
Paleo Jake's place. Male teal are always red, but sometimes females are. Yeah, the thing is the piebalds, they're kind of a gray color, so it's tough to tell. Well, let's swing by and pick up this muley and continue on. Maybe we'll head over for some... So I wonder what time it is actually. Oh, those black bucks are around. Is that him? Got a spot where these black bucks were hanging out. Where the heck was that? Here. 6.30 till 9.30. 9 until 12.30. Alright, so we're probably going to go over here. If we can get there. Yeah, from here. We'll see. For now, let's pick up this muley. Well then, we got double lung, but we didn't get a heart shot. We were actually a little bit too far off to the right side somehow. I'll take it though. 278 yard shot. Swing on by this way here. Doing some bison hunting, nice. Brody says the picture for the muley looks more like a muley than they do in real life. Yeah. There's an axis. Big one indeed. So if we could get him to slow down. No, oh, I wasn't trying to hit that. We do need a mounter access block, but... Swing over here and see if we can't get one. Some more mule deer up there. Couple of does. Chase Belson playing Call of the Wild right now. Nice. Kyler Jones. Oh, that's awesome to hear, man. You inspire me to play this game. Well, I'm glad you like it. All right, I just saw him cutting over there. There he is. So once he steps out. Tell me we dropped him. Yes, finally. <laughs> we messed up so many shots on goal potential um, access box so far that it wasn't even funny. So this time, looks like we got either double lung or Lung and heart shot. So let's go pick him up. Very nice looking buck. All right, let's pick him up. He is a gold. 275 and he weighed 130 so he wasn't big enough to get mounted but we'll save him so in case we can't actually get anything bigger <laughs> we'll have to save him Five forty two moose, where's your best whitetail spot? Um, I would say over by Mount Kraken. And a little bit south of Calburn Outpost as well. That's a very good spot. I got one of my diamonds up there. Oh. Oh, saw something over there, but he's gone. All 
All right, let's go try and find, I want to try and find these rares, two rare black bucks. And one of them could be a diamond as well. I'm sure you probably saw this video, but if we go to, what time was it? Like five o'clock should be good. Six to nine. Oh, so we're too too early. Whoops. We'll do six o'clock. This should work out here. And we might actually see some mule deer on the way as well. Axis deer there. Red deer. And some teal. Ben Gray, where's the best spot for elk? Uh, I would say Calburn. Go to the Calburn outpost and walk around a little bit. What time is good? Probably like nine o'clock in the morning. Some good need zones up there. Caleb, what level is a diamond warthog? That would be a five medium. Okay, so now we're kind of going after a specific animal. It's going to be, well, there's two. One's a leucistic black buck and one's a melanistic black buck. And there was a pretty close to a diamond black buck right in the same herd. So I'll be happy with either one of those. Savage Tortillas, how did you get one million? Uh, hunted a lot. <laughs> uh, no, the, the truth is how I got most of my cash is from using the bow. A decent buck. I use the bow a lot and get animals to come close and that way I can just keep taking them down over and over without having to go around the map too many times. But the downfall about that is you don't really get as much time to get need zones. So yeah, you get a bunch of cash but you don't get as many need zones as if you just ran around with the rifle and Shot everything you saw. So basically first I'll find a big animal that I want to get, like a big buck. And I'll wait until he comes in. Once he comes into range, I'll take a shot with the bow. And once I get him, then I can basically take out the rest of the herd. And just get a ton of cash. Oh. Real good muley there. Way too far for a shot though. By the time he stops at least. Yeah, can't even see him. Alright. It's a good sign. Wonder what the weight on that buck was. We'll check this track here and find out, I guess. Antler Rattler. 372, 450, so yeah, definitely going to be a decent gold. We need something that's going to weigh 420 plus. Well, preferably 450, then it would be a diamond, but... Holy, that thing's out there. Oh my god, an amethical. I think it's a melanistic. I can't tell, but it looks like it might be a melanistic. No, it's not. It's just dark. Okay. My bad. <laughs> well, it's still an 8 mythical Puma. And he's definitely going to go in our lodge. If he comes out. Because I can't see him right now. I'll try and get his attention. Alex says, get him. We'll try. We'll try. Hey there, Sergeant Wrecker 12 Gaming. Great to see you again. How have you been? Yeah, I really want to get this mythical Puma. 
bad, bad wind though. So if we even see a decent opportunity for a shot, we have to take it. I really don't know where he went. Did he bed down or something? 225. He was a good ways out there, I guess. Hmm. Oh, there he is. I see him. I see him. Oh, I could kind of get a shot right here. Okay. Remember, we don't have a good wind. Went for double lung. Didn't see him run away. I'm watching. I don't see him running anywhere. I don't see him laying down anywhere either though. So... I'm thinking that maybe he dropped in the grass? I don't know. Kinda don't know. Also, we should probably get a consecutive harvest check here. If he is down right there. We'll just find one of these mule deer quick. I don't know, I couldn't tell. I didn't see him run away. But I didn't see him drop. Oh, he did run away. Oh, he's down right there. So it looks like he did run a little ways, but he barely made it like 40 yards. Most definitely should be 100%. So, we need to get a consecutive harvest check. Because I don't want to mess up on this big mythical. I think it might be like a red brown too. Or a dark red color. We'll see here soon. Just right by that house. Alright, let's find a muley really quick. I bet this is the Puma that we were on. 199 to 231. A real good Puma. Go to the lodge? Yeah, yeah. We'll put the gray Puma next to... The mythical. As soon as we find something to get a consecutive check. Man, at this point even a duck would work. I don't know where these mule deer even went. Alright, well, let's go back the other way. Hey, you tricked. Savage Tortilla, is it going in the lodge if it's a diamond? Uh, it's going in the lodge either way. Big mythical work for me. But I kind of have a feeling that our consecutive harvest is gone. So, if you have the slightest feeling, you should probably double check. Yeah, there he is down there. We have a mark where he's at. But we'll come over here quick and get an access buck really quick. Or maybe a red deer. And then we'll come back. Best place for reindeer. 
I like over by the, uh, what's the heck that place called? Mammoth Tundra or something like that? Mammoth Tavaya Tundra? Very good place for reindeer. Also, there's a, a good place for some brown bear there too. Grant Elliot, you got your first diamond. Congratulations on that. What'd you get? There we go, red deer. All kinds of them. Looks like a bunch of six hearts. Oh, another puma. That is definitely not a puma last time I checked. So we got another axis buck over there. But is he big enough to get mounted? Very well could be. But it's not going to give us a consecutive harvest check. Oh, but this will. Three. That's a small four. It's a good four there. We only want a female. Good four there. We only want a female for a consecutive harvest check here. And I don't think that four would have spooked. No, but that's a real good four there. All right. So let's get a consecutive harvest check. We'll come back and maybe get a shot on this four. Just check over here. I think that's another good four there too. Yeah, I think that's a real good four. Let's try and... Uh, Get a shot on him as well. All right, it. Oh boy. Savage Tortilla. My dad took the Xbox cord because of my grades are so bad, and he put it in his toolbox over at his work. So now I'm sad because I can't check out the lodges yet. Oh man. Oh, I'm sure he's just doing it to uh, help you out. He's doing it for the best. Even though it sucks. Okay, where's that big four? No, we're not using the bow. Where is that big four? That might be him. Well, it would be kind of cool to take a shot on him with a bow. Just want to make sure we have the right arrows. 420s. Only because we have a perfect wind. Without a wind blowing directly at you or straight at them, you can't really go for far shots. It's a lot more difficult. And since the quality of the stream's a little bit better this time, you can probably see the shot pretty nicely let's see oh yeah this could work out nice we need a spot where we can see that's the big four right there at least I would assume or is that him all I know is we gotta call him to get him to cooperate a little bit maybe 70's a little bit too far. 
I mean, not really, but it is. So, try and remember about the mythical Puma that we have to get here, too. I think that's the big four. 60 out. Alright, we'll try and call him a little bit closer here. Oh, you're right. We can't use this caller. We need the screamer. I don't have that. I don't think this works, is it? No, it doesn't. Man. Yeah, we should use a screamer, but I don't have it on me. Let's see what we have for range here. Oh, if that was him, he'd be smoked 40 yards out, but it's not. He's hidden. That's him there. 45. That's him. Yeah, we're trying to get him to stand up here a little bit. Where is he? Is that him there? I feel like it might be. Or is that him? It's not him. That guy's just sitting there eating. It's like no big deal. All right. At least we'll be able to clean shot here. Is that him? Okay, that's got to be him right there. It is. It's him and he's about 45 out right there. So I would like to take a shot on him with the bow. Ah, oh, the wind like pushed. Man, after all that. That was some weird glitch. All right, let's just find out how much he weighed. I don't even know if he was big enough to spend all this time on, to be honest, but let's just track. Oh, he's not even that big. 139. Anyways, this is an orange axis deer. So we're still at 100%, which is what we came over here for in the very beginning. I think we're going to get mounted. It's an orange. All right, so let's go back over here now and get this big mythical. And then we should be able to head over to the lodge and take a look at him too. Hey, Take Dubs, welcome back to the stream. Good to see you again. Yeah, the streamer or the uh, screamer comes when you get Parque Fernando. All right, how big do you think this Puma is going to be? How big do you think this mythical Puma is going to be, I should say? I'm going to say uh, 915, probably close to 915. Ooh, Hypo Footwork says 937. He weighed 199, 199 pounds, 930, huh? Another Puma calling over there. Yeah, I mean, he should be 900s all day long, but I don't know exactly. 
Another puma. Female. If I could pull out the right weapon, I would have taken a shot, but... No, not taking that shot. Not on a female. Comic book guy, 925, huh? Well, we'll find out. He should be right over here. And there he lays. Elliot Parker, 928. To Blue Frogo, 207 to 350. That's a little bit too far of a guess there to, to Blue Frogo. Anyways, I think it's a dark red colored. Let's find out. 904. Double lung shot at 115. So, yeah, he was closer to the 900s than I thought. I was hoping he'd break like 915, but he was a common. Yes, yeah, so let's, let's uh, definitely get him out of here. I want to find out who actually said any word in the 900s. Connor uh, Ayet yeah, said 911. 930. Everyone said like 920 plus, basically. Yeah, 920s. Cool. 9-11. 542 Moose said 918. Ben Gray said 910. But nobody said anything that close. Ben said 905. Wow, very good. It's gonna cost 5,890 cash to get him mounted. And let's get him mounted, and let's head over to the Trophy Lodge and take a look and see what we have going on. Ben Grace said 905. Man, you must have said that right away in the beginning because I couldn't see. Let's check out the Trophy Lodge here. I don't know why I just fast traveled to be honest, but... Yeah, because he only weighed 200 pounds, so if he would have weighed like 220, then he probably would have been closer to 930s. But a 900 plus is very good. Alright, here we are. This is a really cool entrance here. Right when you walk in. And Firefox Deathmatch, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. We have our albino water buffalo here. Our diamond reindeer there, and this is the bull that we just took down in yesterday's stream. If you didn't see that, that was pretty sweet. I kind of want to make a video of this guy just alone because it was so cool. He ended up scoring 929, and we took him down with the bow. But, let's see, what do we have to get mounted? We got axis deer, uh, mule deer, and the puma. Oh, the pumas. Okay, we need to find a spot for these pumas. Probably over here. Oh, could definitely put something cool here. Rosebud elk, brown bear, axis deer, puma. Um, let's put the axis deer here for now. That was not the right axis deer. <laughs> uh, let's uh remove that axis deer. I mean, this is actually the the orange colored one, but I I don't want to have a female right out in the front. Sorry. So let's put the other axis deer here, which would be this one. Oh, slow down. There we go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. There we go. Let's keep her, or let's keep him just like that there. Take a little better view of him. Not bad. All right, now we need to find a spot for our pumas. Here is the super small melanistic we got in yesterday's stream. Can we put him here? No, we can't. Too small.
This place is pretty big, but... Uh, I wouldn't mind putting... Axis deer. Hmm. Maybe we'll just put them down here. Can we put it here? Can't even put it here. Why can't we put it here? Should be able to. This is a medium platform, so you can only put medium animals there. Apparently we need a smaller medium platform. I love you. I gotta figure out how these platforms all work here, but anyways, while we're in here, let's take a look. This is our 300 score of bull elk that we have in here. Hey, Jackson Smith, welcome back to the channel. This is the blonde, seven very hard that we got. Yeah, so it was a, a gold blonde. Brown bear. Although I didn't put him in this position, so why is he like that? Or did I? Maybe I did. Oh, I guess I did. Yeah, I think I did. Uh, this is the big mythical brown bear that we got. Oh. Piebald diamond is very rare. Guess we're going up. Here is the Cape Buffalo. Can only put a. P Why can't we put a Puma there? Can we put it here? No, can't. Anyways, this is the buffalo we got in last night's video at 110 yards out with the Hawk Edge bow. These are too small, probably. This is for small. So do we need like a large platform or we definitely should be able to put, no, we still can't even put it here. All right, well, if that's the case, we're gonna take down, I'm gonna take down one of these. Man. Oh, I can actually switch it out from here. All right, yeah, let's put the, what are we gonna put here? We'll put the gray, no. Yeah, we'll put the gray one here. There's really not as many platforms as you can actually use. I mean, there's a lot more that you, I wish you could use all the platforms for kind of similar sized species, but here's our gray puma. She was bedded, but we might keep her like that actually. Wow. I want a picture of this. Gray Puma. Very nice. And have this axis buck here. I think we might move this axis buck. Put our mythical puma here. I think we'll keep him like that. There we go. Yeah, so yeah, you got a piebald diamond axis to your Friday. Dang, that's incredible, Emmett. Congratulations on that. I wish we could find a place to put something else. Oh. Maybe we can put something here. I guess we'll put... Well, we can always use the mount, the wall. Oh, we can use this spot here. Okay. That's interesting. So, I can put an access deer here, but I can't put the mule deer here. Or, I mean, I can't put the puma here. Let's put the pie bolt here. There we go. There we go, we'll put him here. Next to the Cape Buffalo. Uh, now we need to find a spot for... Can we 
put the mule deer here? Good. Our blonde mule deer. Oh, I want to put him actually in the same room as our other mule deer. Oh, we actually can put him here. But we don't want two blondes. What I want right now, go to trophy manager. Big blonde muley, but we got a common muley too, a gray muley, I think. Where is he? Blonde. I thought we got it mounted, but maybe not. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess we'll just put him on the wall here. There we go. I like that one. So we have a blonde there and a blonde here. I really wanted to put a gray one here, but I guess we didn't get it or something. I don't know. So yeah, we're looking pretty good so far. Oh, here is our white tail. Uh, like an 850 white tail. And uh, I think it was like a 900 black tail or 8. Now, like an 860 blacktail. Thank you, bon Bonj Angles. Appreciate that. Juna Jokey just got a 943 blonde bear. Very cool. Shut up and fish us. Put it on the wall and take it off to go to any platform. And when it says you can't, click yes. Anyways, it will always work. Oh. I have to try that sometime, shut up and fish. Thank you. Go outside. Oh, we can't go outside right now. We're in the trophy lodge, but we can go. Uh, wait, how do we? Guess we have to go back. Huh. All right, I want to try and find that diamond uh, black book. Which is right. Where is it here? Yeah, it's here. 630. 930. Oh, wrong lodge. Yeah, sometimes they're hard to find. We'll go back to 730. And try and find this diamond black buck. Juna Jokey, have you ever gotten a Pieball Diamond? No, I have not. I have gotten a Leucistic Diamond, which is pretty rare, and it scored 997, which was even more rare. But not a Pieballed. Get a Diamond Duck, it would look very cool. You know what? I was thinking about looking for this diamond that I've been watching on Lane Lakes. It's a Diamond Mallard. But since we're not on Lane Lakes right now, I kind of figure we should probably stick to this map. Hey, Lucas, Drupal, or Drupal. Hello, Ethan. Thanks for the study break. Oh, no problem at all. Good luck doing whatever you're doing. I take it it has something to do with school. Although it is a Sunday, but doesn't mean you don't have a test coming up. And FDK, I have a question. Is there in the game a legendary albino brown bear? I'm sure there is. Yes. There is a rare of any species and they could be really big or really small. You just never know.
All right. So I have to remember what Shut Up and Fish said about you have to take the animal and put it on the plat or take the animal, put it on the wall, and then remove it, and then you can put it in any uh, platform position you want. Good muley buck there. All right, Elliot Cracker, have a good one. Thank you so much, and uh, good luck on your test. Also, it looks like a couple people have tests coming up. So I was right, shut up and fish. I mean, you were right, but the way I just said it back was right. That didn't really make any sense, but... Steve Claxton, I have a diamond mallard, 1,000 score and an albino lion. Man, you have an albino lion? What's up with these people getting albino lions? That's so cool. I really, really, really want one. But first I would be happy with a mythical. It's a glitch and they will not be able to fix it. Man, you know so much. Thank you. Appreciate that, shut up and fish. Ben Carpenter, I have to do English. Nice. And Savage, I'm in sixth grade. Oh, that's awesome, man. Is that the red deer? Yes, it is the red deer. To some very hard, we don't have a red deer in the lodge, so we might use this to get it mounted. And we're going to forget about these axis deer down here because I'm over them. Yeah, he's not even the, he's not even big enough anyways. All right, let's see if we can't get a spotting on this red deer to be able to get a decent shot. Not a very good angle. I actually like the angle better on this guy. Could go for a brain shot on him. I think he's the same. Hmm. Well, that's not a bad angle. You could probably get heart. Just double check. How far he is? 217. So a little bit of a drop, not much. All right, here we go. And he is down. What do we have taken off over here in the outskirts? Oh, another axis deer. Oh, there you go. Renee Knight got a mythical lion. Oh, that's so cool. Unfortunately, I haven't found any. I haven't found any. I haven't found any mythical lions yet. The only one I found was actually in a, uh, well, in the beta. <laughs> hey, thank you. Everyone say a nice shot. Thank you for that. Yeah, that would be a heart shot. So according to this, there's some more mule deer around here. I wonder if we can maybe get this red deer too. It's a six. Oh, he turned. Yeah, we could possibly take another red deer down and it, it wouldn't hurt our needs so much. So let's do that. Should have been double lung. But he also should fall over too. I think he tipped over. I couldn't quite see, but... Hey, Carson. The state record in North Dakota for non-typical. Oh, man, I didn't hear about that. What is that? That's a four. I think that's the same four. It's so hard to tell. I feel like he looks a lot bigger than what he actually is going to score. Yeah, Hypo, it looked pretty good from here, too. They both look pretty good. So we'll pick up this seven very hard. We're probably going to get this guy mounted because we don't have a seven very hard yet. 166, so we're not going to get him mounted. That's barely a gold. Barely, 801. 
Uh, we'll hold off on that. And the other one that we shot ran off this way, I think. Oh, yep, yeah, here he is. Got a track here from... That's a really nice melee as well. But we should have got double lung on this stag here. Double lung shot at 160 out. Only a silver. Alright, where are we at? Oh, we're getting distracted like crazy. We're actually trying to find these two rare black buck and... Uh, we're going the wrong way. But... We still have time. Barely. We only have... Like... An hour to get there, but we better hurry up. Oh, 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 oh. I think I heard the black buck calling. Oh, that's a monitor. That's a monitor axis buck. But we got to be careful because we got we got our rare black bucks up here. So. Hold on a second, uh, shut up and fish, I'll check that in one second. Who said it? You can send pictures of the lodge. Yesterday I killed a legendary albino lion, but after a couple hours my PC fell down and now I had to leave to buy a new one. I lost my legendary albino lion. Man! That is crazy lucky that you found that, but it's so sad that you didn't get it because your PC crashed or fell over or something like that. Anyways, we have some black buck here. One of them or at least two of them actually should be rare if the same herd is here Richard Coy got a double lung shot double lung heart shot with the 270 on a white tail 300 meters away beautiful shot wow Uh, I didn't see it, so if you want, just uh, add me in the comments and reply the same comment. You should be able to put the same comment in. Copy and paste it, maybe? Oh, no problem, Richard. Is this the black book? I think that's the diamond buck. I think it's him. We'll take a shot on him with the bow. Oh, did he turn? Oh, man. I'm pretty sure it's him. I don't think... I don't think he saw us. Put some spray on here. Slide over a little bit. Don't have perfect cover, but... Where the heck is he? Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't think he would have spooked, though. Buddy? Could have. Since we were so close to him, there's no way I was going to take a shot with the gun. But... There is a need zone here. And Lurie, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Oh, uh, he did run. It's not the right one either. It looked like a really decent one, but... It's definitely not the right one. So 
So hopefully we can find that Melanistic and maybe the Leucistic. How cool would that be to have them side by side? Especially with Shut Up and Fish's uh, tactic. We should be able to do it. Juno Jokey, you're so good with bows. Thank you. Yeah, I really do love bows in real life, and I've been practicing since I was about six years old. So, yeah, I guess I have a lot of practice. Let's see. Oh, there we go. That's where we gotta go. Perfect win, too. Perfect win. We're gonna slide right over here. And see if we can't get a couple of these. If all goes well, we might be able to get both rares and what could be the diamond black buck. Oh, that's so awesome, man. I appreciate that. Gotta check that again. Luri says, yesterday I bought the game and all DSCB, or all DLC, been playing it a bit. Recommendations for a new player, and I hit the follow button. Really appreciate that, Luri. Thank you. Do I like long range hunt? Uh, yes, I do like long range bow hunting. Can't see anything. Oh, there they are. It's not him. But he's alert. Which is not good. Oh, there he is! There, uh, uh, she! That's what I meant, not, not he. That's our leucistic. Gotta calm down a little bit here. They shouldn't go anywhere. We have a good wind. Get a diamond elk. I have never even seen a diamond elk. Maiden call, okay, good. I thought we had a bad wind at first and I thought they might take off, but we got eyes on the rear, one of them. Now we gotta find the other one. Well, I'm glad we can't see hardly anything here. I literally can't even see where the rare went. Could try and call them out, I suppose. Hey, Kaden, welcome back. Hannah Trayton, I subscribed, and what is your farthest shot? Well, first off, thank you for subscribing, and welcome to the channel. My farthest shot, uh, well, with the gun, is 480 yards. And with the bow, I just made it last night, 110 yards with the bow. So I'm really hoping that they come out, because... We're not going to be able to see him otherwise. Man, shut up and fish. You have a Hoyt Katera too? Nice. Oh. 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 She's right there. Oh man, I didn't know she came so close. Oh, hold up, hold up. Here they come, here they come. They're all coming over. If all goes well and we have cover, they should come right in front of us here. Just saw them right there. Oh my god, there's the monastic. Oh, come on!
I don't know why we took a shot at her on the run, but she'll come back. That did not work out so good. Put him all over there. It's too thick here. That's the problem. I've always had that problem here. I just can't see. So we'll head over here and possibly if she kicks up, we'll just take a shot on her with the Mosin. I think this should be her track. See, there's one there. All right, I think we're gonna hang tight here and wait for them to come back. I mean, I'm not really trying to use the bow right now, but if the thing's gonna be less than 20 yards away, then I'm definitely gonna use the bow. Who do we have over there? Another black buck. Oh, there's one female right on top of us. But I don't see the rares. Oh, there's another female right there. They're all around us here. Is the rare or rares that's probably oh yeah they're probably over here that one ran right past us wait is that a rare or is that a male can't quite tell All right, change of plan. This this is not working out. We need to get a new strategy here. We need to somehow get up on this hill over here so we can get a better view. Because this is not working out. Not at all. Which time do we have? <gasps> oh, come on. Till 9.30. So we have another 30 minutes. Plenty enough time to wait for them to come back. But we're going to basically go about... Oh, don't run us over again. We're going to get up here on the high and look down. So at least... Oh, right there's the monistic. Calm down. There's the leucistic. What the heck? Why do they keep running around like crazy? See, the only reason I want to use the bow, that way we can get both of them. But if we're far enough away, we can get both of them with the Mosin. But what we have going on here is definitely not working out so good. Hey, John Pat. 
Thanks for doing your streams. They are awesome. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that, man. Oh, here we go. Finally, it's going to work out for in our favor. They're about to come right past us here. There's a big male on the front. And I can see the two rares coming in the back. And, of course, there's a plane flying right over the top of my freaking house. I think that might be the diamond. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think that might be him. I don't... I don't know. But where's the rare? That's not what we're trying to find. Uh... Okay, there's one of the rares. Where's the other rare? There she is. Alright, we got one rare down. Let's see if we can't get the other rare. Where is she? Where is she? Pretty sure that... Actually, I'm not. I don't know, one of these... It's bigger, but it's hard to tell. Alright, so we got one rare down. We'll take it. The other female should come back. What's a melanistic? That's, uh... What we just saw here, she is really, really, like, dark black colored. There! That's the diamond one. That is him. I don't think he's gonna be one, but he's gonna be really, really close. So, yeah, that's the one we want. But I also want the melanistic, so I have to make up my mind which one we want. There's the melanistic. 95 yards out. Melanistic is down. And the diamond is... Uh-oh. Oh, man. Messed that up majorly. Hit too high. Well. Guess that's how it's gonna end. <laughs> oh, well. Not much we can do at this point. All right, here is one of our rares I've been looking forward to for quite a long time. A leucistic. Let's take a picture. I really wish that we were able to get some of our past diamonds mounted as well. Because this thing would have looked so cool next to uh, our diamond uh, leucistic that we got before. But let's pick it up. It is a leucistic double lung shot. And wow. I'm very happy to have this to our lodge. Finally got one of them. Hey, Ryder Dell, welcome back to the stream. Good to see you again. My Sunday is doing amazing. Hopefully your Sunday is doing good too. And Richard Coy, I appreciate that. Ryder Dell, it is a very cool animal, isn't it? Take a screenshot of it and taxermize it. I almost just hit accept. That would have been so sad. But we're good. So one rare is down there. <laughs> what the heck is this? Oh. And the other rare is down over here. And we majorly choked on the small potential diamond. I'm not really too sad though because it's just a small one. Even if it would be a diamond, it would be like barely a diamond, like a 950s. But I'm pretty sure it might be close to 950s. Now I look at it. Um, where is our melanistic? She's so hard to see. Where is our melanistic? Did anybody see where our melanistic went? Because I don't. <laughs> hmm. Oh, she was way back here. Found her. 
There she is. She was way back here taking a little nap. Very interesting position that she's in, right? You know, if she would have been right here, we could have had a really good picture, but she's like right in this little shadow. And the fact that she's so black, you can hardly see her. Still, we'll take some pictures of her. Two rares, side by side. So we did get both rares, but the only thing we messed up on is the potential of a diamond as well. But still. I'm happy with two rares. And let's pick it up. A melanistic. We hit it in the skull and jaw, so... Oh, I thought we were actually going to get a good hit on that, but... I mean, it did go down with a flesh hit. Fortunately, she was only a female, so we didn't lose anything on that. But another rare. Two rares, just like that. Very cool. Hey, Viper Gaming, welcome back. Good to see you again, man. Yep, we just got ourselves a rare Melanistic and a Leucistic Black Buck. And let's taxermize them for 2,510 cash. Awesome. I don't even want to go over here and pick up this black buck. Even though, like I said, it's going to be small. Well, it's going to be big, but it's going to be a small diamond. It, well, it would have been a small diamond, but... We messed it up a little bit too much. Anyways, life goes on. Let's take a look. And the thing is, he went down in a pretty cool position as well. Uh, you know what? I think that might have only been like a 940s, to be honest. Or 930s. Let's pick it up. 26.2. 56.4% on the quick kill. We hit the vertebrae. Oh, man. Yeah, it would have been the 931. Oh, thank you. Wait. Are you just guessing or are you telling me what it would have been? Uh, yeah, I'm thinking he would have been around like 915, 920s. Hit a little bit too. He, he was only 80 yards out. We reserved him for 160. That's why we hit so high. But this is still kind of a joke because at 80 yards out, if you hit a black buck or any animal for that matter, right in the spine like that, it's not even going to flinch. But at least we still got a gold out of it, I guess. And yeah, we have to get it mounted, right? Very nice black buck. 931. We'll get him mounted. 866 gold. All right, so that takes care of these two rares here. 26.5 is diamond, so close. Oh, okay, so yeah, we're at 26. Yeah, I didn't miss by much. I was thinking he was gonna be close. I didn't think he would make the diamond. Uh, it depends on what he weighed actually too. I wonder if we could tell how much he weighed. 910. The Hunter Classic or the Hunter Call of the Wild. The Hunter Call of the Wild all day long at this point. Especially if they come out with tracer arrows eventually. <laughs> it's gonna be game over for me. It already is, I don't even play the Hunter Classic very much anymore because it just, it's too, too much of an investment. Let's just say that. Let's head over to the Trophy Lodge and put some of the, actually, why am I doing that? We can just go right here. We're gonna go to the Trophy Lodge and put both of our rares in and what else did we get? Did we get something else cool? I don't remember. We'll find out here soon. Hey, King Tree 27 welcome to the stream. And Remington the Hunter, good job, DD. You are the best. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Remington. I appreciate that. Wow, this is the first comment that I've gotten all stream about my recovery. Thank you so much, Mitch Taco. Love the stream. Hope your recovery is coming along nicely. Have a great hunt. Oh man, I really, really, really appreciate that. My recovery is going so good now, it's not even funny. So thank you so much for asking about that, Mitch, and I really, really appreciate that. Why am I looking at this moose? <laughs> More importantly, why is he looking at us? Anyways, uh, we have to find a spot for these two black bucks. And I'm hoping we can put them in here. With the technique that uh, Shut Up and Fish showed us, maybe it could work. So we'll put the Melanistic here. 
And then we'll remove it. Right? Remove it. I think we remove it. And then can we put it here? Oh, I think it might have worked. Put it here. There we go. And actually, I don't think it really mattered. I think we could have put it here either way. And our leucistic. So we got a melanistic and a leucistic side by side. And I know this lodge has absolutely no order to it at all. <laughs> I planned on making it kind of like all Northwestern or North, North American animals in one part and then kind of like Argentina style somewhere else, like Parque Fernando somewhere else. But looks like we're just gonna go with wherever they look good. And I think these look pretty good here. Oh, I like that. Melanistic. Shrimp and fish. You're my favorite YouTuber and I'll show you and tell you all my secrets and hints. Man, that's so awesome. I appreciate that. A lot. Do we have them both the same? Oh, what if we had them both looking at each other? Oh, let's do that. Look at that. I gotta take a picture of this. Alright, we'll do that. They're both gonna look at each other. A leucistic and a melanistic. Now, you need to find a spot for... Uh, our big black buck. Would have been close to a diamond, but not quite. And yeah, we'll leave him up there. I think we'll leave him... We'll leave him up there. He looks good. He looks real good. Thanks, comic. Yeah, I think it looks really cool, too. Starting to look pretty nice around here. What else do we have left? Oh, we had that mule deer. Got that guy there. Okay, so we put the axis deer here. Um, now that we know how to possibly put these in the same place. I want to put... Here. Alright, so I want to put the... Wait, but we can't put this on a plaque, can we? Yeah, we can. I honestly don't know if this is going to work, but we'll see. Nope, it didn't work. Because this one's too small. Yeah, it won't work. You're fine. You know, I should put that orange axis deer here. <laughs> kind of random. I don't think it's even rare, but... We'll just keep it there for now. And let's put this guy back here. 904 gold. What else do we have? Oh, the melanistic white tail we took down. And a 906 moose. So we'll put this guy back here. How do we have him? Like that. Oh, let's keep them like that. And let's find a spot for the bull moose. Probably put them here, maybe? Maybe not. Oh, I can only put a white tail there. Oh, man. But I wonder... Should be able to put the moose here actually. Yeah. 906 moose. He looks very nice. Right there. Yeah. This uh, Cape Buffalo here probably, well, not Cape Buffalo, this water buffalo probably won't stay here for too long, but I don't even know why I put him there. 
I'll move them eventually. Hey there, Winter Moose! Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this so far. Couple rares. Nice moose. And our only diamond in the lodge. Of course, we took him with the bow. What's the score of the moose in the front? Good question, Trevor. This moose, the way to find out, we press F3, go into Trophy Manager. We can look at all of our scores from right here. Although that's kind of difficult to figure out, isn't it? Yeah, forget about what I just said, because that's not so easy to figure out. Anyways, it's this moose here. It is 929 score right here. So that's what it scored. Red deer. 775. Uh, no. All right. Wonder Moose, when did the lodges come out? Um, about a week ago, actually. You know what? I kind of want to find a duck to get mounted. Let's find a nice duck. Shouldn't be that hard. Oh, off rocket says you can still place it in, it just doesn't say in the menu. Ah, interesting. So, we'll grab the 22 real quick. Oh, not the 22, let's just grab the shotgun. What do you need a 22 for? Switch out our 7mm. And grab the 20 gauge. And some bullets. Actually, no, why don't I just grab the 22? This is stupid. Because if we see one far away, what are we going to do with the 20 gauge? <laughs> I can't do much with that. Hey, greetings, Zach. Greetings. So we'll go to our duck setup. Here. Hello. I don't have any more need zones around here, but there should be some ducks. Oh, you know what? I know where some ducks are. I definitely know where some ducks are. Here. Yes, I always see ducks here. Good to see you, Zach. What's new? Oh, hello, Black Buck. We're not looking for you, we're looking for ducks. All right. Well, I conquered Russia, that's interesting. Very nice Puma out there at pretty good distance, but we don't have the 7mm anymore, so that's not going to work out so good. 
Come on, I want to find a duck. What do we have lurking over here? Water buffalo and axis steer. And that's a long ways out there. Black buck, okay. I have never seen a diamond teal, so... Hey, hello duck. I found a duck. Oh, one duck, two ducks. Or is that the same duck? Oh, it is two ducks. Two female ducks. You know what? Today is not your lucky day, ducks, because I really want to get a male and a female duck, so... We'll take a shot. At you, too. Yeah, just repeat once if you need to. So, now that we have the female down, we need to go find a male. Or wait, actually, is she going to float across here? She is. So think about the ducks, or also another animal. If you hit them on the other side, they will float all the way over back to where you first shot at them. 288 out on that one. Man, normally there's ducks here. I'm sure if we change the time, we'll probably find some, but... Oh, it's a female, so I want to get her mounted, I guess. Oh, she's cheap. Only 1,020 cash. Very cheap. Nice, Andrew Riffy just got a diamond teal. Congratulations on that. Well, I have a good idea of how we can maybe find some males. If we go 6 o'clock in the morning and go to our duck spot. Should be some ducks around here. Shouldn't really be that hard to find a decent male. But you never know. The ducks are always everywhere when I'm not looking for them. But then when I look for them, I can't find anything. There we go, off rocket. Everyone doing this, the different size plaque glitch because you can put bears on the medium size and the small stuff. Really? Alright, I really have to know about this glitch. Another female. There we go. Caught some ducks. Might be a little bit too far. Yeah, way, way too far. So I guess we'll just wait here. See if we can't get one to come closer. Cause I'm not about to take a 390 yard shot on this duck. Yeah, Wyatt, the glitch is pretty cool. It sounds pretty cool. Oh, you're, I get it. Reverse psychology, Zach. No, you're 100% right. I was so confused at what you meant at first, but... Yeah, so we're not looking for ducks. We're uh, just hunting. You know, maybe there's some axis deer over here or something. Yeah, there's one there. One lone female, huh? Now this is where I know there's definitely a mounter potential access buck. Because I've seen two of them 
that uh, scored over 900 plus. Well, over 920 actually. Let's see if anything came closer to us. Boy, we're still looking 300 out there. Surprised nothing came closer. It's like they know when you're looking for them. How far is it? Oh, only 230 yards. It's not that far. Not that close either. Two hundred thirty yards? Is it really only two hundred thirty? No, I think that this might not be right exactly, but we can only zero in for a hundred and sixty. Where's the duck I was looking for? That's the one I think. I don't have a clue on where to aim. I don't remember actually. Maybe there. Just over the top of him. We got him. Yes. First shot was just over the top of him. Second shot was a hit. And the duck is down. That guy deserves to get mounted. First shot was, I think if he would have been like 250, 260, we probably would have had him. But he was a little bit too close. Don't want to lose our duck. Keep an eye on him. I don't think he's going to make it all the way over here, though. Tell you what, that duck has a pretty good ways to travel. <laughs> I really want to know how far that duck was. 230 yards out. How far is the farthest duck that I've actually gotten? Hmm. Oh yeah, that's Stag Zach. He's over here somewhere, but don't distract me because I don't want to lose this duck. I've had it happen too many times. Oh, I thought we almost lost him. We still got him. I really hope that we only hit him once, so that way at least it will be 100%. Oh, nice off rocket. Just put a Cape Buffalo on the medium round stand. Oh, you know what? I bet that would work out really good for, say, like a medium animal. If you put a medium animal on a small platform, I think that would work out really good too. Hey, Tanner Hunt. How you been? Great to see you again. 270 yards out. These rangefinders don't work out so good at... Well, in the water anyways. So right now we're just waiting for our duck to, uh, I guess, float back across the water here to us. And he's coming, so it worked out. Yeah, we made about a 230 yard shot, probably, on that duck. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Shut Up and Fish. Tanner Hunt, good. How's your day been? My day's been really good, man. Thank you for asking. And this duck is about to come floating past us here, so let's pick it up. Do we need a consec uh, consecutive harvest check? Maybe we should. I always... Can be a little hesitant on picking these guys up. What did we just hit that thing with? Probably too high. We're empty? Oh man. Come on. That's got to be the smallest axis deer I've ever seen. Trying to drop it, but was that a miss? Huh. Maybe it was. Don't really want to lose this duck, though. Man, what do we do? Oh, let's just pick it up. 
Oh, I saw the silver pop up and I was thinking, man, he isn't even a gold. It's a fur type. It's a red fur type. Oh, they're actually a different color fur. The shot was 232 yards out. But yeah, let's get him out. He doesn't have to be a gold. I'm happy with him. 791. Didn't quite make gold. 1,070. Let's get him mounted. All right. So I'm pretty sure we missed that axis deer. Where do you hunt buffalo on this map? That's a good question. We might actually have to go try and find a nice mythical. Is that that red deer? Black buck. Tiny black buck. I don't know why we're running with the 22. What's that going to do on a black buck? Oh, what do we kick up? Another black buck. I forgot. There are some black buck over here. Tanner Hunt, how are you liking the lodges? Oh, I'm loving the lodges. They are everything that I wanted. Yeah, they're just they're just everything I wanted, so I'm happy with them. Southeast part of the map. Good point, gaming buffalo. So if we could find our access buck that we hit. Over here. It looks like we actually might have hit both of them. Because even with the flesh hit, they will go down. Is this him? Maybe. This actually might be the one that we missed. No, we hit this one. Is this running? Trotting. Uh. Why is that axis deer just standing there? It's not one that we hit. Oh! Here he is. There he is. That was a uh, 218 we hit high. Trying for a spine shot. We did barely hit it, but it brought it down. This is not the one that we hit good though, I don't think. Hey there, Sam Rogers. Fantasy fighter, my lodge is filling up fast. Yeah, I can imagine. Good point. If you want a diamond buffalo, you need to shoot it in the brain. Mule deer tracks. So I really would have thought that we hit another axis deer over here. Red deer. But, might have been a miss. Hello Karsten. And Football Beast, hello to you as well.
Yeah, I guess uh, might have been a miss on that one. 360. I guess it was probably a miss because we were zeroed in for the highest distance. But you never know. Hey, Harrison Herman, welcome to the stream. And we got some pretty cool animals, a couple rares, nice golds. So if anything, this, that's that tiny black buck. If anything, this would have been the one. Hey, welcome to the channel, Karsten. Thank you so much for subscribing. Is that a black buck? Let's see if we can take her down. Oh, that was a miss. <laughs> Wrong weapon, too. There we go. Two more. I was hoping a nice male would kick up somewhere, but doesn't look like it. Let's swing on over to, oh, to try and find a mythical. We want to find a mythical buffalo. 10.30. Uh, first, we need to change the time. Then... We need to remove this 22, because we have a female and a male, which is what we wanted. Now we need to get a mythical buffalo. And Will Kambovsky, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Seven millimeter or 338? We'll do the 338. And some ammo. That'll work. And Rasmus, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Oh, we already have that. We just need the scope. That'll work. All right, let's see if we can't find some big buffalo. I know there's two mythicals over here. I've been watching them like crazy. Gonna need zone here, 10.30. A little bit early for that. Also, mule deer there. Maybe we should wait a little bit. Or we could just do this. When you have tons of cash, you can just burn another 1500. 46 should be good. All right, let's find some buffalo. Hey, Quartz. Good to see you, Quartz. Or we'll find some Pumas. Three. Axis deer. Oh, there they are. The heck are they doing over there? They should be over here. Something's not right here. There they are. There they are. Oh, there's the big boy. There he is. Big old mythical. Yeah. It's 
done very hard. But he should come this way. I don't know why they're going that way. What's this guy doing? There's a couple mythicals. So there might be another one over here. Because these guys don't know where the heck they're going. They just wander off. The heck? Big four there. Another Puma. Well, let's try and catch up to the herd of buffalo. We have the 338, so I'm not really too worried. Let's not have the Mosin in slot one, because that would be a very accident. Switch that out. I mean, we don't have a good win, but we're far away. These buffalo shouldn't be spooked from us. There's one there. Is he eating? Oh, traveling. See, there's a need zone right there, but it's like they don't want to come to it or something. We might have been a little bit early. Yeah, there they are. Oh, that's one of the big fours. Actually, is that a gray? If it's a gray, I want him. I want him really bad. I think it is a gray. Big four. Three, three, it's a little bit too big for him though. More mule deer. All right. Hey MJW, welcome back. Shoot him, which, what am I gonna shoot it with? I only have the 338, which is a little bit large for the mule deer. Otherwise I would love to take a shot. There, that's our big four. That's the one we want mounted. And is that a black buck? It is a black buck. What the heck is she doing there? But yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's the big four. Another big four muley there. Should have kept the seven millimeter on us. All right, here's what we could do. Since we spotted him. Go back here quick and grab the seven millimeter. Switch it out for the 338 really quick. I still have ammo in here? I think I might. Oh, I guess I do. All right, so let's find that buck now. There he is right there, about 330 out. So if he holds up, it's a good little ways out there, but. Smoked him. He's going down. We should have ourselves a Mounter Muley. Now our big mythical should be over there. Axis deer. All right. The reason we held high because that was probably roughly uh, 300 and... What's that one? Another good buck. We're gonna hold off on him though. That was probably, well, 370 yards out on that buck. So let's switch back to, thank you, Maria. The 338, so that's why we held really high because 368 yards, it drops quite a bit, even if you're zeroed in for 330. 
switch back to the 338. Okay, so we need it for a big mythical buffalo. There we go. Oh. Maybe he found us first. He did. There he is. Oh. This is a 900 plus. I've been looking at him for a while. He looks almost the size of a legendary, but he's not. He's a mythical. What would be cool... If we could get over here and get a nice shot on him. But with this bad angle... Man, that thing's big. No, I don't like going for headshots. What we'll probably end up doing, actually... If he's got a need zone there... We might just switch out to... Uh, the bow, if he's close enough, and go for a heart shot. Go for a double lung heart shot, we might. Depending, if he's close enough. So they gotta leave first. Okay, there they go. Only because the wind is decent here. There's also a huge stag here too. So, I would try and not... I would kind of not like to see him right now. But, I've been saying that I really want to take this mythical down with the bow. So, I kind of want to try and take him down with the bow. Especially if he's going to be within like 40. We're definitely going to go for a double lung heart shot. Thirty-three. Is that him? No. Off rocket, it's a giant. It sure is. It's not a diamond, but it's definitely a giant. Well, in my books it is anyways. Hey, Flyman100, you got here just in time. We're going after a huge mythical buffalo. Preferably with a bow, considering we have a beautiful wind. And Farmer1267, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. There's some pretty good cover up here, too. So if we could slide over just a little bit more. It might be, like, right on top of him. Check. Oh my god, there he is, there he is, here he comes, here he comes. Back up, back up, back up. <laughs> He's right there. He's so close. I want to get off this track though. How far is he? Did he spook? What the heck? He was just coming right at us. Oh my god, oh he was right there! Oh I knew it! Man! Oh, he was just too close. I I didn't know that was him. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to have to use the bow on this guy. He's so big. He's so big. I wasn't expecting him to be right there. Oh. The mule deer are coming back. Hopefully he doesn't spook. Problem is I don't really have the greatest spot here. To see. I know where he comes. He comes right here. I 
mule deer's right there. We can't really go anywhere more this way because there's buffalo right there. Let's crouch up. Oh, there he is. There he is. I think that's him. Is that him? Or is that a different one? He looks... Oh, I can't spot him. Yep, that's him. That's him. If I can get to a spot where I can see. Keeps going all over the place. Keep losing sight of him. Is he eating or where'd he go? There he is. He's uh, about 30 yards out. Maybe 40. Is he just like roaming back and forth right there? Can you shoot mule deer with 600 grain arrows? No, you can't. You will lose all of your integrity. I'm not even that worried if we don't get heart, but for surely we need double lung. Uh oh. Come on. Where are you? There you are. Can't see, he's in too tall grass. Can't even take a shot with a gun if I wanted to. I'm hoping he steps up over this hill. There we go. Oh, I think we smoked him. Yes! <gasps> smoked him. He's down. And consecutive harvest check really quick. 338 is a little bit big for this, but... What the heck? How's it still running? What the heck? Oh, I am so happy. Is that him? There's no way we missed. Thank you, comic. He was being stubborn. I'm pretty sure that we... Might have missed. For a consecutive harvest check. I didn't think we would have, but... Thank you, Daryl. Yeah, I know, that's a big eight. Well, if eights could be diamond, this guy would definitely have a really good chance at being a diamond, but since they can't. Oh. Guess we're gonna have to use something else for a consecutive harvest check, I guess. Hold on, what did I just see? I think that's our mythical. Uh oh, I don't want to spot him. Dang it, it's our mythical. I didn't want to see him. There. We hit her, that should take her down. But this stag, kind of the same thing. Wait, is that the deer that we hit? Oh no. Yeah, I know, but I said the same thing that I'm only going to take him down with the bow, so... That's going to take way too much time, and... I'm happy with this mythical right now, with the buffalo. Right now, we just need a consecutive harvest check really quick. Then we have to go over and get that Severy Hard Puma that we made a really good shot on, too.
Yeah, vital hit on her. Bet that's him. Yeah, it is. He's so beautiful. Oh! Oh! Oh, man! They are not happy. Missed. Another miss, but barely. I don't know how many misses we can afford here. That wasn't a miss, but it wasn't a good hit either. That should have been lung and spine. So much for getting a consecutive harvest check here. Oh, really? That was such a cheap shot. Come on. Two at once? This isn't even fair. Okay, first off, you should be dead by now. Second off, this is not a good time for the game to freeze. Come on, give me a med kit. Yes! Okay, the odds are a little bit more even now. Should probably just get out the bow. I'd have probably a better chance hitting this thing. Man, tried for a spine shot. That didn't really work out so good. Oh, man. Come on, come back. I dare you. No more brain shots. Missed the heart on that one. But we got him. Oh. I don't even know what these were. Female. Okay. And another female. 100%, 100%. And this is what we needed for our consecutive harvest check. Right lung, 100%. Now, let's go take a look at this huge mythical water buffalo. Now, the next thing is I'm going to have to find a spot to put them. Hmm. Let me know where we should probably put this big mythical. Hey there, Al Bassmaster. Welcome back. Good to see you, man. You got to go check out this mythical we just took down with a bow at about 25 yards out probably oh no way take dubs has a dime potential gemsbok a level 5 gemsbok in sight good luck man that is so awesome i've got to see one of those but all right so the mythical i don't think we actually spotted the mythical Uh, no, true racks aren't out just yet, but they should be out soon. Well, not soon, but in the future is what I meant. And our mythical would be down where? Where would that have been? Uh, right there. Right there, I guess. And James Neve, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. This is probably one of the biggest mythicals that I've gotten. And, of course, we can only see half of his rack, or his uh, horn there. So, let's pick him up. 332. Total score of 938. I would say that this is my biggest mythical. I mean, he didn't miss diamond by much. He weighed 2,567 pounds. And we made a double lung heart liver stomach shot. <laughs> At 26 yards out, what a shot and what a huge mythical buffalo. Wow. Yep, I am so glad. I'm so glad we waited to take him down with the bow. I didn't realize he was only 26 yards out though. 332 so close to a diamond. But yeah, I think that's uh, roughly as big as they can really get as a, as a mythical. I don't know if they can get too much bigger than that. Hey, thank you for that, Bob. Take a screenshot of this guy.
Well, of course, we got him right by the tree there. Okay, that's good for now. Let's get him out. It's going to cost a ton of money, 7,840 cash, but it is well worth it. Oh, that was a big old buffalo. Now we're just going to swing by over here quick and get our seven very hard puma. That, uh, there's the rest of the buffalo. We found the rest of the herd of them. Oh wait, did we take a shot at the puma? No, we didn't. We took a shot at the mule deer. Oh, it's a good buck there too. There's still another mythical buffalo around here somewhere, but I think that was definitely the big one. One of them had a really nice rack on them, but the horns were, or not the horns. Well, yeah, the horns. Look at all these big muleys here. The horns were not as, as thick. I think that's a four. Yep. All right, so we have to go over here and pick up this muley, which would have been like here, maybe. I honestly don't remember. The big four there too. I'd like to go over there and check on the weights on some of those bucks just to see how big they might be. Hey, Ewe Morgan, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate that. Yeah, he was a pretty big buffalo. Richard Coy, I got fed up playing classic. Yes, I am with you there. We don't have the seven millimeter anymore, so can't really take a shot at these mule deer. Otherwise I would like to, but we have a big one hit already. So we should be able to track him down and maybe add him to the lodge. Another buffalo down there. Where was that guy? He was 360 out. But man, that was a long time ago when we took the shot at that buck. I wonder if he's still here. Did he disappear or what? Maybe he was back here more. map oh boy well we said 368 from this lodge or 400 so we're too far but that would have been maybe here no nope. Oh, there he is. <laughs> we come find blood, but we ran right into him. Here he is. Our nice, what I thought was a gray, but now that I'm close to him, I still think he is a gray. Is he your gray? Oh, he's a nice buck. He's a really nice buck. Let's just pick him up. Oh, he's only a common, but he is a big common though. 422. I would love to put him in that same room. We made a 356 yard lung liver stomach shot on him. Total score of 884. So yeah, we will get him mounted. He weighed 407 pounds. So I'm happy with him. And now let's head over to the trophy lodge and put our giant mythical buffalo in there. I have no clue where we're gonna put him, but I'm sure we'll find a spot somewhere.
not all level five muleys are diamonds. I did get a level five that scored four or uh, 943, I think it was. And the worst part was I was streaming it and it ended up being not even a diamond. So there is a chance it could be not a diamond. But most likely it's probably gonna be a diamond. All right, here we are back. Uh, where the heck are we gonna put this huge mythical buffalo? I guess we could put it next to our other buffalo, which would be upstairs. Let's do that. Oh yeah. The Hunter Ian, have you seen the Diamond Ranger yet? I mean, in the Trophy Lodge? There he is. So yeah, we're probably gonna put them up here. I like all the shortcuts. I didn't realize that at first. And we have our ducks, that's right. We have our ducks to put in here. Oh, we should be able to put them here. So apparently we can, but we have to find a spot to put them first. This guy's definitely not staying here. So if we put our 938 Water buffalo here. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. I really want to have a full body mount of him, but look at that thing. I mean, he looks pretty much the same size as, as a diamond. So we're going to attempt to remove him and put him here. No. Trophy manager. See, there isn't even an option for it here. It's like, but that's a small spot. I wanted to put him here. Yeah, I know it says this is for medium. So why can't I put it here? It won't let it. Unless I could, oh, I think you can go to trophy manager. Nine thirty eight. Go to the lodge. I'm in the lodge. Yeah, it doesn't work. You have to get rid of the cinnamon teals in the menu. What? All right, this is not making any sense to me. So, I don't know where we're going to put this guy. For now, we'll put him downstairs, probably, unless we can put him up here. Oh, I know where we can put him for now. I want to put this mule deer here. Okay, that's pretty cool there. The reason we put him here... This is a common and that's a blonde. They're both really nice too. That one was, I think, 420. They both scored exactly the same, basically. But we have a common, a common and a blonde. Let's keep them like that. Oh, okay, I'll try that, I'll try that. So if we put the ducks here. I love how you can put the ducks however you want. We'll just keep them like that for now. Now, let's see if we can put this guy here. Yep, definitely not working. And I'm done with that. Next. Well, thanks for trying to help, but it didn't really work out. That's all right, can we put it here even? Brown bear, water buffalo. 
Yes, let's put it here. Although, can we see it from here? Oh, we can still angle it from here. Maybe put it there. There we go. We'll keep them just like that. I wonder if I can still turn them out. There he is. Big old mythical. I kind of want to bring them down lower though because it's a little bit too high for my preference. But I want to keep them in that kind of main entrance. Maybe I'll put them here. Yeah, we could put him here. Yeah, he's too high in there. We'll put him down here. Or here. Hey, Dat One Legend. No, this is not the hunter. It seems like it is, right? Because there's trophy lodges here now, but it's not. Oh, I wonder if we could put him there. I didn't think about that. This is the hunter call of the wild. So I'll remove this guy and put him down here if we can. It would be ideal if we could put him here. Oh man, I really wish we could put him here. Well, I guess I'll put him back up here. No, down, where were we going to put him? I don't remember. Down here. Oh, that would have been nice to know. <laughs> Anyways, we'll put him here. There we go. That is our giant mythical we just took down with the bow. 938 score. Oh, I like that one. I like that one. All right, now let's uh, go back and take a look at those ducks that we just threw up randomly. Because I was trying to put this water buffalo somewhere a little more impressive than it already is. But yeah, here is another blonde. So we have two blondes, that's a common, and that's another blonde. And here are two teal. Definitely don't like where that one's at. We might remove them. Yeah, I don't like them there. I like them more maybe here. Yes. Oh, we can put them here too. Let's put the female there. So. Maybe we should put this one. Here. There we go. So we have the female sitting down and the male flying over the top. Yeah. I think we'll have it like that. Nice. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good so far. If you're just joining now, we got a couple of really cool rares before, including this guy that probably would have been really close to a diamond, but not quite. But yeah, we got. This leucistic black buck here and this melanistic black buck here. And what else did we get today? Lots of stuff. We got this mythical puma here. An eight mythical score 904, I think. And this gray puma here. This was a female, but she is pretty awesome. I'm so glad to have her in the lodge. And I thought we had an axis deer. Oh, this is an orange axis deer here. I really don't know why we put it here, but yeah. Then this is our rare axis deer. Piebald. This was the first rare of the hunt, I believe. Right here's the piebald, right here. It was a silver, but that's what it was. 
Oh, then we got these guys. We got a uh, 860, well, 422 blonde, and then a 422 that scored like 860 common. I think that was that was it. Hey, that one legend, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I think we got something else too. What am I missing? Oh, this guy. A huge mythical 933 score, or no, 938 score. Water Buffalo we took down with a bow. And yeah, it was a overall pretty good hunt. Nice job there, man. Trash Panda for life just got an albino for the lodge. Very cool. Richard Coy, how come you've never mounted a spirit bear? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's a good question. I really didn't know where to put it. Because I only have so many spots. Apparently, you can't just put them wherever you want. You see, you have to be in a certain spot. Otherwise, it won't allow you to do it. We could put it here. I don't know. We can't even put it there. We still have a melanistic we had to put somewhere too, but I just don't know where to put it. I don't want to put it up there. Um... Can we put a spirit bear here? No. Oh. Let's put it on the let's put it uh on the wall. Put it here. There we go. We'll put it here. There we go. I wanted to have a full body mount of it, but for the time being, keep it like that. There's our spirit bear. It was a female, but she's still pretty cool. I will try that. Now that it makes sense. Just gonna try something once. Press E. Oh, what did that do? Now that just brings you to the trophy manager. That didn't, that didn't work at all. You don't have any trophies to place here. Yeah, even if I try a bigger spot, like here. No, doesn't work. The DLC is 399, yes it is correct. But I don't mind it like that, actually. Or is that better? This one or this one? Oh, actually, that's a third one. And a fourth one. Eh, that's a little bit much. I think, I think this is the one we got to go with. Yeah. All right, so we'll go with that one. Get back up here quick. Take a better look at it. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Pretty good. I'm happy with that. Yeah, and I think... Uh, let's see here. Go to the front. You know what, guys? I think that's actually going to be a pretty good way to wrap up this stream. So, yeah, until next weekend. Oh, like I said before, uh, I'm going to start streaming every... Saturday and possibly Sunday. For sure Saturdays. Every Saturday and Sunday. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys understand how that works. And my new upload schedule is going to be 6 o'clock um, uh, Pacific Standard Time and 4 o'clock Central Standard Time. So, yeah. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the stream and I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday because I'm getting really hungry and I can't wait to eat something. Alright guys, well take care and thank you so much for stopping out here. And we'll see you guys later.